Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens with Once Upon a Game, and today I'm going to take a look inside A Wing and a Prayer, Bombing the Reich by Lock and Load Publishing. It's a one to two player World War II um, uh, bomber simulation. Uh, so we're going to crack it open, see what you get inside. Um, I'm not sure how it relates compared to uh, other games in this kind of genre, if it's more like uh, Enemy Close to Dead, or if it's more like P-17 or Target for Today. We're going to find out, and I did get, when I got this, uh, this arrived, it did come with a this additional pouch that's got a couple of cards in them. Let's see if these are replacements, or if they were forgotten, or or what? I don't know. What's a surprise? So I assume future copies will have them in there, but if not, you'll be able to ship this and that. Alright, so we've got here dice with cards. Two of this. Their usual good, slightly rounded corners. Dice. All the sides do not have the choice to. Alright, good look at cards. Uh, standard poker size. They are a little bit thinner uh, stock, so I definitely probably need some sleeving. Um, they look to be locations, so these are probably mission mission cards of years. Something you're gonna read the rules with. Uh, well, I'm not gonna count. Maybe a standard, maybe 54. Let's see what it says here. All right, being the pair of over the Reich manual. Now, this is a version 2.1. Now, I've not played this before, I have not seen this before, but the manual is already at 2.1, so maybe this is another, an older title. So, the tool book again, the great new. Lock and load uh, publishing uh, stock. Awesome, awesome cover arts. All the flat going off around the bombers. Uh, the real large print. The rules. Got some ads and everything here too. The rules on about 37, 37 pages. Uh, yeah, these are rules still in that scenario. All right. So let's see what says components here. Dice, does you have dice? Uh, formation cards, that's probably coming. Oh, well, we got a deck of cards. Yeah, they are. Alright, so we got our two player sequence chart. Single sided, yeah, just single sided, flunk on the back. And so it says, yeah, we're playing two players, how to go. I know that one of those is a single player card. Side there. Squadron briefing card. Alright, ready, not ready. Uh, campaign VP track, mission VP track. Again, single side, this is on the table. Alright, so now we got an air combat one chart. And this one that they sent me is also an air combat one chart. And I'm not going to read everything to see if there's any, any differences in it. Looks the same, so I'm not sure what that is. And the one player sequence two is there as well. So I don't know, I don't know what that is, I'll have to inquire about that. Um, if it's an errata, we've got a, a stack of double sided maps here or charts. This is for the two player game. Alright, German resource table. The um, V point the VP modifier table receptor check. These are also single sided. So you just have them out and use them. This is uh, landscape. So I'm going to switch here to a portrait chart for victory points of campaigns. More this way, so you can see it. 
chosen campaign length. Five missions, ten missions, fifteen missions, twenty-five missions. I think there's a couple of typos on some of this stuff. Um, yeah, not nothing major. You can figure it out. Uh, this is Chosen campaign. Now I suppose Chosen could be something in the Reich. Doubt. Probably chosen. Um, these have just jumped out at me. There's one on the uh, uh, sequence. One of the sequence charts too. But also there's the typo. But yeah, nothing major. Just. But it's there. And this one is double sided. Here's your combat table. So, uh, on the one hand, I do appreciate the large print. But on the other hand, when you have too many charts and tables out that are large, it takes it, increases your table space that's required. So that gets a little, a little frustrating. It'd be nice if these were maybe smaller as well. You can't print everything though, so. Alright, so an events guide. Um, 1942 short campaign is five missions, start in box one. Those are different things you're going to do. Formation events, escort availability. Seems a little lot like. I mean, obviously the gameplay is going to be different. Excuse me. Your air and flat combat charts. Seems similar to without the big books of Target for today. Uh, I'm going to get our missions. I can do anything soon. We have our formation card. It's for interceptors. Okay, this looks like it's going to go maybe together. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I thought maybe there was something that was connecting to here. Uh, you got interceptors coming this way, and escorts coming this way, and hard to see. So turn it that way. Beautifully, beautifully produced. I mean, you know, they're, they're just really good. Um, nice, thick, glossy cardstock. All right, now I got maps, and these feel like these are double folded. Well, wow. so if you get one of these out and zoom in, so this is. We got here. These are these are thick cardstock maps. They're not quite as quite as glossy. I mean, they're coated glossy, but they're not quite as. Uh, uh, so this must be your main game map. Where you're flying all over. Let's see if I can zoom it out just a little bit more there. Okay. All right. So we see the Reich, your cities, here's your 8th Air Force Base in England. Um, charts and tracks, so you assume you're going to play on this. This is the mission turn track. Um, your deck goes here, your completed missions go here. So assume you're going to fly out of your base and attack the different things that are revealed on those cards. Again, you know, we're exploring the box together, not learning the game. So there's that. So you get that map. And this is just the one. Because only one came out. That's all you need. It's one game. And it is single sided. Now we got our counter. So we got three counter shots. These are all huge. These look like one, one and a quarter, maybe. Maybe just one inch. Pop one out. They pop very easily. Nice and thick. Pre rounded. These are very well centered. Pretty decent artwork. You got pictures here of your aces. You got three German aces, three uh, U.S. Air Force aces on this on this sheet anyway. So you're gonna get three counters, uh, three counter sheets, I should say. All right. Good quality. Nice, nice thick. The good new lock and load quality. We're setting the bar here. On a lot of this stuff. Planes. And then uh, different uh, different named. Uh, so you got some named bombers here. The Berlin Playboy, the Axis Hotfoot, Big Red, Green Hornet, Demo Darling, Peoria Bell, Pueblo Vengeance, 
there's another typo that may have been a real typo in real life. Okay, so one thing I have noticed here after we've gone through everything is that while I do have the one player sequence two and air combat one turrets, which are in this bag, and may have errata on them. I'm not reading them all right now. There's another sheet in here. That is the that is the uh, one player sequence one air combat two. Um, so this would they just send them as a set. So air combat one and two, uh, one player game sequence one and two. So uh, there's there's one one of those is in here, but they go as a pair. So they send them both as a as a protection. So. Anyway, so you get the counter seats, you get uh, the sequence cards, and obviously they have sent uh, correction there. You get the game board, you get a formation card. I think it's going to take a lot of table space though, that's one thing. See how it plays out. Looking forward to it though, it's kind of cool. Uh, maybe a little more depth, I think, than, than some of the other narrative generation games. We'll see, maybe some more strategy. Uh, Charts. A broken card. Lots of cards here. Lots of charts. Two player sequence sheet. And the 2.1 manual. Two dice. And a deck of cards. Is what comes in. A wing and a prayer. Bombing the Reich from Lion Load Publishing. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you.